the dangers of driving put in the spotlight tonight. Right now, Atlanta's main transportation link to the Georgia coast has been cut off. All lanes of Interstate 16 in Trutland County are shut down about halfway between Macon and Savannah. That's more than 150 miles out from Atlanta. It's because of a semi that crashed into a bridge. You're looking at it right here. It shifted that bridge six feet. Our John Sherrick is live for us from the GDOT headquarters. And John, there's going to be some time before they get everything, but those plans are underway. Yes, there will be some time. You know, people from Metro Atlanta driving to and from the Georgia beaches. Container trucks driving in and out of the Georgia ports will continue to face major disruptions on I-16, according to the DOT, until possibly the end of next week. A tractor trailer colliding with this bridge over I-16 in Trutland County in southeast Georgia between Macon and Savannah. No one hurt, but the damage to the bridge is so severe, GDOT says it could collapse onto the interstate. So all lanes of I-16 will remain closed on this seven-mile stretch until crews can demolish the bridge. DOT Commissioner Russell McMurray. We cannot reopen I-16 until the entire bridge deck is basically on the ground. Our plan is to open one lane westbound, that would be Savannah to Macon, by Sunday morning, and then by Monday, have one lane eastbound open on I-16. The detours around the damage, taking 21,000 vehicles a day miles out of their way. A 24-mile long detour westbound, a 10-mile long detour eastbound through the small towns of Soberton and Adrian, right down US 80 past the Farmhouse Cafe. This is some of the best home cooking you'll ever get. Y'all wait. This is Channel 11 out of Atlanta. Y'all wait. I talked with Suzanne Hutchinson during a lull in Adrian's detour traffic. It's, it's not too bad right now, but here's our one, our one traffic light. Traffic jams in Adrian, Georgia. Oh, it's like, a, it's like the city of Atlanta. <laughs> There's just people everywhere. There's people at the dollar store. There's people at the jet store. And we're just a small town of about 650 people. And so if anything exciting happens, even when a fire truck goes out, we all get, it, we all get excited because it's just... You know, we're just not used to all this excitement. A blessing in disguise for the town, she calls it, as GDOT begins to demolish the damaged bridge and then reopen I-16. I talked with the Georgia Ports Authority, and they believe that container truck deliveries should not be delayed significantly as long as I-16 reopens in a week or so. Back to you. All right, John, thank you. So just how safe are bridges in Georgia? A new report looks at the security of bridges and roads across the state. So here are three things you need to keep on uh, in mind on the road. The report by a national transportation research nonprofit found 10% of our state's bridges are deficient. That bridge over I-16, not part of that list, though. According to the report, the two worst ranked bridges in the metro are the one on Howell Mill Road over Peachtree Creek. The other is in northwest Atlanta on Marietta Road over the CSX rail yard. And finally, the report found we aren't spending enough to take care of our bridges. It says our state spent only half of what it needed to make progress on our roads and bridges. We'll, of course, be keeping you updated with the latest information on the I-16 bridge and alternate routes you can take. That's all on 11alive.com.